All right, welcome back. Lecture number nine for unit three, the fall of the Roman Empire. Have you ever heard anyone say, to all good things must come an end? Yeah, well, that's what happened to the Roman Empire. And Rome's fall pretty much follows the typical pattern for any empire's decline. See, the decline and fall of great civilizations is really a repeating pattern in world history, as we will continue to find out this year. See, Rome faced internal and external problems, all of which led to its eventual decline or demise. The Pax Romana period, that 200-year period of peace, it ended with the reign of Emperor Marcus Aurelius around A.D. 161 to 180. Rome declined due to three primary factors, which we will discuss in more detail in today's lecture. So the three factors, leave some room in between each, was a, were as follows. Number one, first factor, was that their economy weakened. Okay, leave some space on your page. And then number two, they had military problems. And finally, the third factor leading to Rose's, uh, Rome's demise, pardon me, um, and subse uh, sub its subsequent de demise. Mrs. Molly's really messing up today. That's not cool. Anyway, number three, third factor, uh, they had political problems. So allow me to discuss all three of these things in more detail with you. First of all, their weakened economy. You know, due to attacks on the Roman Empire by outside forces, Rome stopped engaging in its extensive trade. And without new sources of revenue or money, Rome couldn't raise the, the funds that it needed through taxation to pay for continued expansion or maintenance even of its empire. A major economic issue for Rome was something called inflation, which means a massive drop in how much one's currency is worth. And then, of course, there were a series of food shortages and disease, that, and that just made things worse for Rome's economy. All right, so weakened economy was the first factor. The second factor was their weakened military. Rome's military began to weaken over time and was in complete disarray by around AD 300. Rome had been forced to recruit foreign soldiers called mercenaries to help defend the empire from attack. But because these mercenaries weren't paid very much, they, they didn't feel exactly loyal to Rome. So eventually, they no longer supported Rome at all, and you know the Roman military couldn't hold on to the empire. So a weakened military was another factor in the decline. All right, the third factor was political turmoil, because political turmoil also plagued Rome. The citizens of Rome lost their sense of patriotism. You know, they were no longer willing to die for their republic or empire. And some future emperors attempted to keep Rome intact with varying degrees of success, like a guy named Diocletian, who made a series of reforms or changes, and he briefly strengthened the military. His main mistake, though, was that ugh, he divided the empire in half with a Western Empire that included Rome and an Eastern Empire. And of course, as soon as he died, civil war broke out, duh, between the two halves of the empire. So eventually what you're going to see is uh, four separate rivals are going to start to compete for control over the empire, including a guy named Constantine who briefly united Eastern and Western Roman empires. Uh, but then, of course, he made a dumb mistake in that he moved the capital from Rome in the Western Empire to the capital of the Eastern Empire, which was Byzantium. This city later became known as Constantinople. Eventually, the Western Empire fell apart, and the Eastern Empire survived, and then turned into what we called the Byzantine Empire. Okay, so to summarize, why did the Western Empire fall apart? Why? You know, when we talk about the fall of Rome, we're referring to that Western portion of the empire falling apart. You know, here's why. Germanic tribes from Northern Europe are going to invade eventually, including a group of people who were Mongol nomads called the Huns. And, uh, you know, they included invasion after invasion by uh, the famous Hun named Attila the Hun. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. Anyway, the final Western Roman emperor was a 14-year-old boy named Romulus Augustulus. And, uh, of course, 14-year-olds aren't known for their, you know, rule or, or power to hold people together. So, you know, the empire completely fell apart. All right, the eastern half of the Roman Empire, it's going to survive and it's going to flourish. Eventually, it will become known as an empire we'll be talking extensively about next unit, the Byzantine Empire. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for listening. Ooh, another short lecture. Bye-bye.